Glasswire is your networking best friend. Check it out at the link below. Hey, what's up guys? CP Modi here, back with another video, and it is mid-July, or late July by the time this video comes out, and I guess if you're watching this video, then the 11 series isn't out yet. Hopefully you're watching this video, otherwise no one's watching it and the 11 series is out and it's going to be a pretty cool time. But anyway, today we're here with a bit of a chat of whether or not you should wait for the new 1180 video cards and whether or not you should just wait for the 11 series as all. Now recently I picked up a 1080 Ti and wondered this myself, did I make a good or bad move? And well today we're going to have a bit of a chat about that. Now no, this is not going to be a definitive yes or no type of video, we're going to be having a bit of a chat of different kind of standpoints, different ideas ideas and different reasons as to why or why not you should wait for the 11 series and kind of have a bit of an analysis of uh, what's been going on with the new series of video cards. Also too, before we do jump in, I do want to make it clear that I don't have any information that you guys don't have. I've done my research on the internet. So far, I have the same information as what you guys have but I'm making a video about it. So no, I don't have anything new. So let's go ahead and have a talk about this exact topic and uh, see whether or not it is a good idea to wait or not wait for the new series. So kicking things off, first thing that we do want to have a talk about is the new specifications for these cards. Now obviously no, nothing is confirmed, but we are looking at 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, 13 teraflops, 224 texture units, or TMUs rather than texture units, TMUs. We're also too looking at 3584 CUDA cores, and for an 80 class of video cards, this is definitely not a bad option. Now you may remember that the 1080Ti also too has the same amount of CUDA cores, but do keep in mind we're talking about a 1080 class or 1180 class, not necessarily the TI version. The TI version will be coming most likely later, and will most likely have even better performance, which is really nice for a standard 80 card. And if we throw up this graph right here, we can actually see that there are a number of actual benefits of this new generation versus current 80 class of cards and other cards we do have on the market. Again, do keep in mind, we're not talking about the TI versions. And this 1180 is actually looking like a pretty boss video card from the rumored specs from the internet. And I cannot wait for them to actually start manufacturing them. But I guess they've already actually manufactured this, mainly because Nvidia most likely has a warehouse somewhere that has a whole bunch of the 11 series just sitting in there waiting to go. Where that warehouse is in the world, I have absolutely no idea, but I guarantee you there is a warehouse out there somewhere. And this is mainly because if we take a look at the news section lately, we've actually seen that Nvidia has been in a little bit of a problem lately with some of their video cards. Sure, older generations of graphics cards have been with us for quite some time, such as the 500 and 400 series, but we also too need to remember that this series of video cards has been out for two years now, which has been really long time. So it's given them a long time to develop the new generation and actually start manufacturing the new generation, meaning that they're definitely going to be sitting in a warehouse somewhere. And other than their stupid cut down low end cards that have like 2 gig, 10 this and your know, bolter that that's going to take you a whole kidney to actually afford there hasn't really been that much coming out of Nvidia in the last year or two. And we've seen, well, not really that much change. Now, on top of this, we've also too seen the rise of the miners play a massive part when it comes to the Ethereum mining with the GPU side. So Nvidia's also do ramped up their GPU production for all the miners that are out there. And obviously pricing has varied as well. Now the problem with this and the problem with miners isn't that they're mining, but Nvidia is now left with a whole bunch of 1080 type cores because they amped up their production, they've now got a whole bunch of leftover video cards that they do need to sell. And because of this, we're probably going to be seeing warehouses full and full of unused NVIDIA cores. And if we add two and two together, we see that they're waiting on releasing a new product, but they've got a whole bunch of old product that they need to get rid of first. And that's why I think we're going to be seeing a little bit of a later launch. Now, Jensen got up on stage. I believe he got up on stage. I just saw it in words. I don't know where he was. But my point being, he got up and said that we won't be seeing any new GPUs for a while. Now, this while is very relative to what a while could be. We've been waiting a very long time and a very big while for the new generation to come out, being two years. But I don't think we're going to be waiting another two years. A month could be a while, 
two months could be a while, three months could be a while, we just don't know. So whilst while is relative, it's kind of interesting to see that he said this. And if we kind of do some analysis about what Nvidia is doing right now, it totally makes sense as to why he's gone ahead and said this. Now, before we mentioned that they amped up their production to make more video cards for all the miners, then all the miners stopped buying them, the demand went down, but the production was still there. So now that they're left over with all these, say, 1080s, they need to do something with it. So what they've gone ahead and done is got Jensen to say, we won't be seeing new video cards for a while. People like me say, we won't be seeing new video cards for a while. And people like you might go out and actually buy a 10 series video card. Really, really smart in their marketing way. They've got all these new video cards waiting to release and they need to get rid of some of their old inventory. They say, not for a while. People go, oh, I'll just buy an old video card and they get rid of that inventory. Now, don't get me wrong, there still will be inventory when they go ahead and sell their new versions, but we'll get to that in just a moment as to what they'll be doing. But it would be a stupid move for them to have a ton of 1080s and just release the new generation because who's really gonna buy it? Let's say the new generation's one, maybe $200 more. It's gonna make more sense for a 25 plus percent performance increase just to grab the new generation and would be a no brainer from us on the consumer standpoint. And from a business standpoint, it was also to be a no brainer not to release them yet. Now we were looking at a possible July announcement, but now we are looking at most likely an August and September time. So again, this definitely plays back into the idea that they're gonna release it a little bit later and try and get rid of all that existing stock. Now, no, I don't know how much stock they do have. Maybe they've only got a few units left Maybe they've still got multiple warehouses full of these video cards, but they do still need to get rid of it. And I really think that we're going to be waiting for more of a September time to see the new generation of video cards rather than um, anything a little bit earlier. Now, price-wise is also to another factor that we do need to take into consideration. For you guys over in the US, we are looking at most likely a $699 to $799 US dollar price tag for the new 1180, where the older 1080 is looking around that $550 to $600 price point. So yes, we're getting about a $100 US dollar added to the price tag, which yeah, in the grand scheme of things isn't too bad. I can see where they are coming from and we'll discuss this in a moment, but if we bring it to Australia, that is where things go downhill. Now, typically Australian prices for PC parts, phones, any kind of technology really is usually about two to two and a half times more expensive than what you'd see in the US. In a lot of cases, you can take the US price times it by two and that's usually what we'll be paying here in Australia. No, it's not just the currency conversion. There's things like shipping and getting it over here and marketing and all that other crap that happens in Australia, not to mention the Australian tax that goes on it. So that means the 1180 would be costing around $1,600 if it was to be around that $699 price tag or even up to $1,800 or $1,900 for the 1180. And if the TI came out, we could be seeing over $2,000 Australian dollars for this video card. I'm When I saw that and saw the number conversions, it was absolutely crazy. Now. This also too does play into what we were talking about just a moment ago and all their excess stock. But a two and a two and a half times increase in price is usually what we see in Australia, meaning it's not gonna be anything on the cheap side. And this again, really plays into it. A lot of people were seeing this new generation of $1,600 Australian or like $699, $799, and they would see the existing 10 series and go, oh, we're still getting within about 25% of these cards why not just buy the last generation? So they've done it really, really smart. They released a new generation at a much higher price tag that really only the enthusiasts and people who are gonna be making money off these cards are gonna be buying. And then the existing 10 series is still there for everyone else to buy who wants to save themselves a little bit of money. Because let's face it, 25% performance is still not really that bad. And I would take a 25% performance hit if I could save like $400. So a lot of people will be going down that road. So. At launch, they have their brand new 11 series for $1,200, $1,300, $1, whatever it comes out at. And then they have the existing 10 series at around that kind of $1,000 or lower price point. Everyone buys the old generation. Boom, they've sold out of old generation. They drop that price point down and say maybe six months time being like, hey everyone, we're giving you a massive price cut. And boom, they've gone ahead, got rid of all their old inventory, and they've made a profit on their new stuff. It is a win-win for Nvidia. So it's a really smart move from a business standpoint to have all your old stuff here, sell the new stuff expensive, get rid of that old stock, then bring the price point down. You can be like, hey, we're giving you a discount, spin it up all positive, when in reality, all they did was overcharge the new generation to get rid of the old generation, and then they bought it down to a price point it should actually 
actually be. So pricing aside though, I think that on day one, uh, we will be seeing everything sell out. 10 series will be sold out, 11 series will be sold out, no video cards will be on the market. Why is this? Well, everybody's waiting. Everybody in my comment section so far has been telling me I should have waited to buy an 11 series and everyone else who asks a question is always being told, just wait, wait for the new 11 series, wait and see what happens. But the problem with waiting is everybody's waiting and everybody's gonna be buying a new video card in that day or that week that the new series of video card launches, and this can be a really big problem. Let's say that you were gonna buy a 1070, and you were gonna be buying that anyway, and you just wanted to wait to see what actually happened with the new 11 series. So, the 11 series comes out, that sells out, the 10 series sells out, you now don't have a video card. Because you waited to buy that 1070, all the people who went for that 1180, oh, 1180 is not for sale, I'm gonna buy a 1080. Oh, 1080 is not for sale, I'm gonna buy a 1070. Oh, 1070 is for sale, and they bought that video card, leaving you with nothing, which may be a bit of a problem. Not to mention, 80 class of video cards are stupid. I personally own one, but that's only because it was sponsored through a build that I was doing. If I was actually buying it, with my own money, I really wouldn't necessarily be buying an 80 class of video card. Sure, as an enthusiast, it is really awesome to have one, but from a pure price to performance standpoint, buying yourself a 1070 and overclocking the snot out of that thing would be the better option. You could see the similar performance to a 1080 and you get very close performance to an 1180 when that comes out without spending a massive amount of money, which really kind of throws a bit of a spanner in Nvidia's work. But as I did mention, we're PC enthusiasts. We love to brag about our computers we spend hours researching the parts, we spend hours building our systems, and then we spend hours bragging about how good our systems are. And this is the same with any kind of enthusiast. Car enthusiast, phone enthusiast, tablet enthusiast, uh, camera enthusiast, golf enthusiast even. Every enthusiast out there love to say, yes, I got that brand new, whatever it is, it is really cool. And too bad you don't have one because I have it already. That is something that just a lot of enthusiasts like to do. And the same thing is gonna happen with video cards. There's gonna be a lot of people out there waiting for that new 11 series. 11 series is gonna sell out, they're gonna buy a 10 series and now there's really nothing left on the market. Again, it does come back to me saying, I don't really think it's a good idea to wait if you're not gonna be guaranteed to buy an 1180 video card. And a lot of people don't want an 1180, they just wanna see what's happening with the 11 series. And one thing that you do need to remember, just because you buy a video card and the new generation comes out, doesn't mean your video card's gonna be bad. My 1080 Ti that I bought, about a month or so ago, it's still gonna perform 300 FPS in the games that I play in 1080p, whether or not the new 11 series is out or not. The only difference is I'm gonna be a little bit upset because I have a 1080 Ti, which is now not the top end video card. And that's really the only difference out there. So if you are looking at grabbing yourself 10 series, maybe 1060, 1070, I really don't think that there's much point waiting for the 11 series, unless you're gonna wait another six or so months for the lower end cards to come out because let's face it, 1080 or 1180 is gonna come out first, then we're gonna wait a few more months for the lower end stuff to trickle out. There's really not that much of a difference, and if you weren't gonna be buying the top end anyway, why would you wait? You're just giving yourself a chance not to get that new video card. If you're waiting for prices to go down, let's say you're gonna wait for the 1180 to come out and you're gonna buy a 1080, 1080 Ti, I really don't think that we're gonna see that much of a price cut either. Again, coming back to the fact that they've got a ton of this stock just trying to get rid of, I don't think we're gonna see a massive price drop on the last generation of video cards when the new gen comes out. I don't think we're gonna see it like we did maybe in previous years. Sure, it's nice to say to just wait and see, but a lot of people aren't gonna get a video card and on day one or week one, there's gonna be a lot of people buying 11 series and 10 series. Everything's gonna be sold out across the board and you're gonna be left with like a 1050 if you're even lucky. So for me, I think it really comes down to what you're gonna be buying. If you're not buying a 1080 or 1180 or 1080Ti, don't bother waiting because you're still gonna have that card, it's still gonna perform really, really well, and just because the next gen comes out doesn't mean you're not gonna be getting a good gaming experience. But do let me know down in that comment section. Are you gonna be waiting or are you just gonna pick up a card because let's face it, it's gonna be quite some time before 70, 60, and 50 class of cards come out in the new 11 series of Rangers. But what I'm more excited about is the 1160 and also to the 1170. 1060 was an absolute boss and I can't wait to see what we get in the new 11. 1160 because 1060 was a boss. 1160 is gonna be even better, but do let me know down below. If you wanna grab yourself some 10 series cards before they all run out, you can find them linked down in that description box. Thanks all for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.